Welcome back to my channel. Happy 2019 and hopefully happy Friday. Assuming I get this edited and uploaded today, it'll be Friday. Otherwise, happy Saturday. Either way, happy start of the weekend because it is 3.30, so it's almost the weekend by the time I get this edited and uploaded. At some point, it'll be the weekend. Anyway, I just wanted to say happy new year. Happy holidays. Hope everyone had a great day new year. Winter's officially started. Freezing temperatures, all of that outside. I'm finally sitting down and starting um, to do this video. It's been requested, it's been promised, and I'm doing it. So sorry it took so long. Just a lot happened. I've got Christmas and birthdays and New Year, and it was just really hectic just right here in the last few weeks. Um, but I recently posted that I had lost 15 pounds in the last couple of weeks and a lot of people were asking me how I did it, what did I do, and I guess I have to rewind to my favorite subject or not so favorite subject should I say um, in regards to my car accident that I had this past summer. Um, I used to be prior to really into working out, I got really into cardio and things like that. My husband is retired military so he loves to work out and so him and I would run, walk, go to the gym, things of that nature. Um, and then after the car accident, that just came to a screeching halt for me and I'm not able to really do anything. I haven't been cleared for any physical activity. Um, I spend a lot of time watching movies, Netflix and chill, social media, things like that because that's really all I'm allowed to do at this point. I go to a lot of doctor's appointments. I'm not allowed to walk, run, I have all my dogs, I can't go walk them. So unfortunately over the past six months, seven months since the accident, I ended up gaining 30 pounds. So at one point prior to meeting my husband, I was four to six pounds away from my goal weight, you know, my mentality of the number I wanted to be at, which was roughly between 145 and 150, which if I'm not mistaken is technically, um, like the healthy weight for me which is fine um looking back at pictures i really like the way i look and then you know like they say you get into a happy relationship you gain weight i mean it shows you know they say it shows signs of a happy relationship if you gain weight but i'd rather not so i was attempting to get back into shape physically get back to what i looked like anything like that for no particular reason. He loves the way I look now. He loved the way I looked then. He has no complaints. It's my own personal. I don't want to buy clothes anymore. I have clothes that used to fit and I don't want to buy new sizes. It was really that simple. Um, but then I got into the car accident and I became very sedentary. Is that the word? And I, I really lost my motivation, you know, and then, you know, you become you, I used to be outside all the time and I used to be doing a lot of things and then I'm inside and depression hits and you know, things that you used to be able to do you can't do. Like I used to go to Disney World all the time and now I can't even imagine how I'm gonna do that. It's really, it was really a hard time for me to go through and so somehow or another I turned to my worst enemy and that was food. So I love to cook, I love to bake but unfortunately, I also have the problem of, I, I guess some people call it the too much gene. Um, I have no self-control at all. I can't, you know, if there's two in the package, I'm gonna eat two. If there's, you know, a you know, little leftover, I never have leftovers ever in my house. I'm the type of person that, and this no exaggeration, I can sit in front of the TV, watch TV, get completely sucked into whatever I'm watching, and I will eat an entire package of Oreos. I would say max an hour, but that's probably being generous with time for me. And I don't even know how I do it. It's like I black out and I can just eat and eat and eat and I'm then the guilt and all of that and it's just it's awful. So how did I lose 15 pounds when I'm eating packs of Oreos and not working out and all of that? I don't take weight loss supplements and I don't do any crazy dieting. I've been a vegetarian for actually a long period of time. I want to say over a year and I really, really enjoyed that. 
but that was when I was physical and although I wasn't eating packs of Oreos at that time, I was still eating in excess a lot of things, but I was physical so it really balanced out and that was around the time, I believe right before I met my husband, so I, I, I would eat whatever, but I mean I was cardio and I got really, really into yoga, but I decided that I needed help. I can't be left to my own devices and I can try and cook for myself and my husband and you know I tried that and he is fantastic the self-control that he has I envy and I think you know if he could bottle it and sell it it would be fantastic I can't have anything in my house I can't have you know a jar of peanut butter I can't have um, chocolate syrup tubs of ice cream just in one sitting it's it it will literally keep me up at night if I have that stuff in my house so I had to go out and figure out what I had to do I needed somebody I, I can't afford a chef I can't afford although I would love to have somebody to walk around with me and slap it out of my hand and you know he would lock if he when he's home he hides his snacks and then I find them and then it's yeah um, so I went out and I bought I had to get single serving items why I don't I don't buy them like every day uh, at one point I did have to go out to the grocery store every single day to buy single serving items like two or three a day for breakfast lunch or dinner so why I don't do that anymore I don't know but I'm so very thankful that I don't do that anymore because I can have a whole freezer stocked full of um, my meals I buy right now I have found the lean cuisine uh, microwavable meals and the healthy choice microwavable meals are out of this world they're phenomenal this is not a paid sponsorship I lost 15 pounds I haven't dropped a bead of sweat working out since before Thanksgiving I was roughly I want to say it was roughly it was right before Thanksgiving I checked my phone I used to keep track of my weight and now I really don't um, right before Thanksgiving I was 210 pounds and I have lost 15 pounds over the holidays that's including Thanksgiving and Christmas and my husband's birthday and my and New Year's and my mom's birthday is slowly approaching um, and my family's Italian so we don't just do one you know one meal Thanksgiving really isn't my favorite holiday I eat my favorite thing is personally the pumpkin pie that I make it's off the Keebler uh, wrapping and it's my favorite and I think I ate the whole pie myself not in one sitting but we have turkey and mashed potatoes not a fan of turkey I'm trying to think what was on the table uh, we had mac and cheese that I had. I'm gonna start getting hungry. We had mac and cheese. We had like broccoli casserole. I don't eat sweet potatoes. We have mashed potatoes regularly, but I, you know, I did have some. I think I had some turkey. Probably had ham because I do like ham. I'm so picky. I'm like the worst at Thanksgiving. Better example of Christmas. We, my grandmother makes homemade pasta Christmas Eve. She fries up all the fish, the squid, the mussels makes um, spaghetti with, uh, I think it was, it was just squid, and mussels and shrimp, and then the Christmas day, I wanna say, I wasn't there Christmas day. No, I didn't, I wasn't there Christmas day. Um, and then the day after, we went out to eat with his father. And then for his birthday, it was unreal that we had, we went over to a friend of the family and she, yep, she cooked a lot. So basically what I'm saying though is I don't, I didn't stick strictly to lean cuisine and healthy choice meals over these past two months. I may have been making a completely different video had I stuck with those. I may have been, you know, how I lost 50 pounds. Yeah, right. But. Out of the 30 pounds that I've gained since my car accident, 15 pounds, I'm gonna celebrate it. I didn't weigh myself for two months 
So from Thanksgiving to January, the other day, it was in January, I hadn't weighed myself, so it was really a, a shock, a, a fantastic shock, that I had lost as much as I did, but I, I drink one to two cups of coffee a day. I don't, I use creamer and regular sugar. I, I have a little bit of coffee with my creamer and sugar. And my husband has a sweet tooth, like I said. And so our stockings were full of chocolate. And she bought us little pouches of um, chocolate coins. And he got like a five pound bag of Reese's, uh, Reese's cups, and then the lint chocolate truffle ball things. I don't know what they're called. I ate all his coins and then I ate a couple lint and I ate some Reese's. The coins were enough, but the coins I ate, I think a bag in each sitting. I'm not gonna lie. No self control. It's it's the truth. What do you want? But you know, what I'm saying is I don't I I don't stick to that diet. I veer off my grandmother whenever I go over to their house, which is frequent because um, they live near all my my new doctors and all my appointments and stuff like that So I always have to go over there and she's convinced I'm not eating even though she goes with me to the grocery store and she's there when I buy you know The surplus of meals. She sends me home with things um, So like yesterday I snacked on some uh, small bit of um, Sweet potato french fries and then she makes pasta with broccoli um, it's an Italian dish that typically translates really weird and whatever, but it's not disgusting. It's really good. But the pasta. So I try not to eat much pasta unless it's, you know, specifically divided for a single serving. And the other, the other thing that everyone says to do and I've always done is I drink so much water. I drink so much water. I am never quenched. I'm always thirsty. I have a cup literally right here, but that's that's what happened. So for the last two months, I have had, I've survived on Lean Cuisines. Uh, there are days where my body plays tricks on me and like right now I'm hungry and I should not be hungry. So like when I get the munchies and I want something sweet, that's when I'll typically make a cup of coffee. And the good thing about it is I have regular coffee. I don't have flavored coffee or flavored um, creamer, but my brother always uses a cup of coffee to, you know, he has like the flavored uh, pods and stuff like that to help him whenever he's got the munchies. He's really big in fitness as well. And, you know, him and my husband are always working out and I can't. This is, you know, this is what happened. This is how it works. and. It's not the lazy guide. I'm not trying to be lazy because believe me, I would love to do sit-ups and run and do pull-ups and go to the gym and hike. I mean, I would love to be outside. I keep, I literally keep looking out my window like, oh, so pretty. This is my favorite time of the year too. I love to put on a big hoodie and just go outside because being in Georgia and Florida during the summer, unless you wake up at like five o'clock in the morning, you can't it's brutal it is it is unforgiving outside and i am not an early bird but so that's that's what i did that's my secret um i just ate uh lean cuisine meals uh no particular order no i didn't say you know oh well these are better than this i've only had one that I was like, ooh, not gonna eat that one again. Um, it was pork something. I honestly don't remember which one it was. I'll probably remember when I buy it and eat it. But I don't do like lean cuisine for breakfast or lean cuisine for lunch and healthy choice for breakfast. I typically try to do pastas, the pasta dishes, like the linguinis or whatever for lunch. And then the rice or the quinoa or whatever. Um, for dinners, like the more, the greener, colorful ones for dinner. Um, but um, I'm gonna show you my freezer. I think I've had three out of what's in there right now. And that's 
where we're at. Hopefully I'll be able to make more of these as I progress. I'm trying to, I went through a few days of weighing myself every day and when I weigh myself I will like step on, step off, step on, step off like five, six times. Like maybe the number's wrong. I don't like my scale, um, but since that's the one I kind of started on, I'm going off of that one. But hopefully I can do like go a week without weighing myself. I didn't weigh myself today. So I can just watch, you know. I don't remember how much I weighed on my first video that I posted when I was at the camper. I have no idea how much I weighed. Maybe I can look at the date and see if I have a corresponding date in my phone um, to see if I can say, oh, this is what I look like versus, you know. But, like I said, let's go take a look at my freezer. And then so as you can see, I have a very plain Jane kind of freezer. Um, it's not that big, but it's just a matter of I have nothing else in it. My fridge is practically empty because I don't have anything else. Like I said, this is all I have in here. But as you can see, um, these are, I think these are new. Yeah, these are new ones that I found at the store. I buy them in bulk at a wholesale store. Um, but these I had, I actually had this for breakfast this morning and it was quite delicious. Um, I've had like the Lean Cuisine Chicken Parm, it's really delicious. So this would be one that I try to shoot for at lunch, but um, unfortunately once it gets down to picking and choosing, sometimes I end up with it for dinner. But nothing wrong with it, it's fantastic. This one's also new to me, I have not tried it, um, but I love mashed potatoes. And if they are, oh, they're red skin. God love you, Lean Cuisine. Thank you, I love those. Um, fantastic sesame chicken again more of a dinner dish for me because of the spaghetti and that's only because I just don't like even being Italian I don't like pasta at night um, so let's see this one uh, roasted turkey breast come here Oop, down with roasted turkey breast this would be a good dinner it is a good dinner it would be um, Uh, let's see what else but like and then they also have healthy choice also has these uh, again dinner not dinner excuse me lunch um, because of the pasta fantastic though uh, this I would use I would take for a dinner my hand is so cold um, this was the other thing that I was trying to think of adobo chicken these are my favorites for dinner just the colors, anything, I've always been very, add the color, and I will, and it's, you know, I'll eat it, to me that's healthier. Oh, what else is in here? Is this all of them? No, this is another one, mango adamame. This is another really, really good one, and it's got the, uh, the things in it, I mean, they just mix it up, and this is, I, my mom, I tried to tell her to do this, and she was like, oh, I used to do it all the time. And I'm like, no, Mom, I remember what you used to get. I think she used to get, I want to say she used to get sesame chicken, and even the sesame chicken, it's completely different from what it was way back when. And this one's also a really good one as far as colors go. I love, I don't even know what these are, but these little green beans, I have no idea what they are. White, tender white meat. I have no idea, but. They're fantastic, and I just noticed this, gluten-free, the chicken is natural, I can guarantee you that. They taste delicious. Um, but yeah, gluten-free, so my brother would could eat those. But yeah, so I have, I mean, endless amounts of these, and all of this was less than $100 that I bought. So, I mean, to me, that's a steal. That's for me, because I like to eat healthy, but I don't usually like the price of it. Nor can I actually afford it. So, um, that's part of the reason like I stopped being a vegetarian. Is There you go, that's my freezer, that's my diet. If you guys wanna see more videos, uh, if you guys wanna see progress videos, then I'm more than happy to do that. If you guys wanna see videos with me actually eating the food, I'm okay with that. 
shopping. I do go, I don't just go to wholesale stores. I, that just happens to be my bulk. Typically I'll end up at any store that uh, has groceries. I always swing by because uh, the store that I typically go to to buy the majority of the food um, actually had a few new flavors this time so I was super excited so that's more than I bought the last time but uh, they don't have all the flavors so I'll walk into a store and I'm like ooh that one's new that one's new and if I'm super hungry and I'll I have to stop then I'll stop at I have stopped at a uh, fast food restaurants but I try to get just you know if anything I'll the worst thing I'll get is probably chicken tenders. They, you know, those are breaded, all of that, whatever, but it's not, you know, the sauces and the bread and, you know, I try to behave. But like I keep saying, you know, I did, I haven't stayed strictly on lean cuisine and healthy choice. I'd love to. My schedule doesn't permit it. If I could guarantee a microwave, maybe if I stop at a gas station, just go in, like, have my, my tray with me and go into a, go into a gas station and heat it up like hey I'm just gonna heat up my lunch here maybe I could try that and just like see how that works see if I feel any different lose any more weight I don't know whatever but like I said water a lot a lot of water this is my typical glass my trick with the water I do fill it up with ice so it's not this is not all plain water I like using a straw I feel like I drink more whenever there's a straw I don't know why that's my trick if it works it's great lean cuisine meals uh, all I add is hot sauce. I don't add, I don't know, uh, ranch, mustard. I don't know. I don't know what, what you would add to it. I've never been that. I've, I've never been that type of person that everyone's like, oh yeah, the sauces are so bad. I don't really add sauces, so I don't really know. Um, lean cuisine meals, the healthy choice meals. I haven't looked at any other ones, so it's not a matter of a favoritism thing. Those were just at the store at the time when I sat down and I decided. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna buckle down and just eat these. So maybe, if, maybe I'll go look if there's any other ones. Um, and that's it. And I would say allow yourself, you know, breathing room. I don't like that I allow myself breathing room, but I have a big family, and a lot of food in my family, and I think I'd be disowned if I showed up with a microwave meal to a family get together with all that food. I don't know. I could try it. <laughs> oh no. Thank you guys so much for watching, for your support, for your pat on the back, um, for requesting this video. Um, I hope this helps you in your journey to your New Year's resolution. This was not my New Year's resolution. I don't make weight loss New Year's resolutions anymore because I always would seem to let myself down um this was just because i thought it would be better for me as you know i recover but i do have other new year's resolutions if you guys want to see the progression of those i can do those videos as well i hope this helps you on yours i'm rooting for you you know i do believe new year new me is a great thing healthy you is that much better um if you have any questions i can't answer them but i do know somebody that can so write them down in the comments i'll give her a call or i'll put her information down in the description box because she'll be so proud of me because i used to hate working out and then now this is me and she's gonna kick my butt but go ahead and uh, give this video a like. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Join me on this journey. Join me on my next dinner date. I, I don't know. Um, but I hope you guys have a great weekend. Because I haven't had a dog in the video. Might as well see Eva. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I post there as often as possible. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next time. And we'll talk to you then. Bye. Say bye, Biba.
works for you, me, you know, water is super, super important. My dog's about to poop on the floor.